I'm sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry, you're right, you're right. It's all good. This man, it looked like a love of stock, okay? It was looking so, it was looking it was, so dirty. It was very dominant. <laughs> Meanwhile, of course, MKLeo came off of that very, very close Game 5 set for, uh, between him and Raito. But he wasn't playing his Cloud. Wasn't play yeah, I don't know how warmed up his Cloud is. I'm sure he was in the back, warming up all his characters, getting ready. I mean, he, know he knows exactly who he was playing, so... I don't think he's going to be caught by surprise here. <laughs> yep, there's the Cloud you were talking about. I heard it. Looking for that thumbs up, yeah. Let's do it. The players are ready. Everybody is ready. Is the crowd ready for this winner's final set between Echo Fox, MVG, Leo, and Cosmos? Dude, the crowd is ready, man. And I am, I'm ready too, man. Starting early. And Kaleo has an offstage situation. Yeah, this is going to be hard. I'm sure Cosmos is very used to playing characters that can't really deal uh, you know, with some of, the, some of the hitboxes he has coming out from her in aerials. But... Uh, and Cloud of all characters does deals with that very, very easily. Yeah, an incredibly strong star coming out from MK Leo already. The cross slash are strong, but great SDI coming out from Cosmos right there to get out. Yeah, it looked like he delayed cross slash a little bit too. Mm. I wonder if that's why he was able to get out so easily. That said though, 111% in about 30 <laughs> seconds. This is nuts gameplay. He is not here to play MK Leo. Yeah, man. Ooh, that, okay, that down there catching him. I was going to say he got lucky. He didn't get spiked for that down there, but that back here will seal the deal there. Only 9% on MK Leo. Yeah, that was a destructive start coming out from MK Leo. I think also worth mentioning that MK Leo does play a little bit of Corrin as well, so I'm sure he knows exactly what this character can do in certain situations. That he does. Uh -oh. but great read coming out from Cosmos. A good amount of damage coming right there, but not able to get the stock just yet. Very yeah. low percent on MK Leo. If Cosmos was able to get any more than 9% on that first stock, that would have been, been a stock for him right there, but luckily MK Leo was so low. Ooh, no punish on that counter. Very, very surprising. MK Leo out of range to get the up tilt. And now the juggles begin with that up air, the bench press. MK Leo still looking very calm, man. Doesn't have really much to worry about. He'd have to get hit by an instant pin near the edge. A huge mistake, get punished. Yeah. Cross up back air, very ambiguous that move. It's very, very difficult to deal with. Cloud's amazing air speed allows him to mix up those cross ups when he wants to. Even at this point, I think MK Leo is looking for Limber Cosmos to make a mistake near the edge so he can pull that trigger and end this game. Yeah, beautiful shield drop uh, punish there from Cosmos, but it doesn't matter when the limit cross slash lets rip and takes the first game to stock. Yeah, I actually thought that he was going to survive that one across the stage. I didn't think he had enough damage on him, but uh, Cosmos ended up hitting that blast zone anyway, and that, that, that looked too pretty, man. Yeah, definitely way different than the buzz set, I'll say that much. MK Leo did have a ton of rage on him, so very, very powerful showing coming out from MK Leo in that first game. Going to Battlefield now, an interesting pick going for the tri platform layout. We know that Corrin is very, very strong here, but so is Cloud himself. Yeah, uh, any character with those big disjointed hitboxes really loves the tri platforms. Cloud doing that neutral air between the tri plats, like, what do you even do? How do you even fight that, man? Very, very difficult, as well as his combos across the platforms with those up air juggles. I said though, Cosmos this time off to the early lead, 60% to 15. Uh, I think the most important thing here, though, Cosmos is going to have a much easier time uh, landing in certain situations where he's getting juggled by MKLeo. He does have a lot more options and places to land. But this match is already starting off much better than the game, the first game we watched, you know? Yes, oh, beautiful dash forward. Expecting the roll in from MKLeo, gets the punish with the grab. Well, luckily from that Nair sending him back towards the stage, not forced to use. Very, very close. This is going to be a punish. Yeah, I, I can only imagine that, that that forest match was not what that was supposed to be. Maybe like a lead drop back air. All right, very, very nice MK Leo, but Cosmos forcing the limit and taking the instant KO. A complete reversal yes. from what we saw from the previous game. What an answer to game number one. Only 15% on Cosmos to start the stock. Oh, but the dunk! I thought he was going to do I thought he was going to look for another one, man. Yeah, but he didn't want to risk it knowing that he was a stock down. Yeah, a stock up, I guarantee he would have went for it. Mm. Oh, this is scary. Oh, very oh, scary. Oh, he gets spiked, but he maintains his double jump, but it's not oh. enough. And we have Limit Cloud online for MK Leo. I was, I was getting ready to call it for. I was getting ready to call it for Cosmos, man. He has such a strong first stock, but MK Leo really took took advantage of every single interaction of the uh, the following stock. Leo being off stage. Oh, that is a good trade for MK Leo. Oh, High no. on people, no punish. Oh, there we go. The forward tilt. Man, you got a lot of time to punish that attack, yeah. man. Oh, he gets stage oh, by the no. down there. He lost his double jump, and what an unfortunate turn of events for Cosmos right there. 2-0 for MK Leo. He had such a strong start to that game, and then it was all downhill from there. Every mm. single mistake that could possibly happen, happened. Yep, every single bad thing that could have befallen Cosmos happened right there. But, you know, if the start of that game was anything to go by, the man still has 
some juice left in him, he still is able to bring this back, potentially. Okay. Man, he's gonna take us right back to Battlefield. Obviously, I think he was playing so well, and just a couple of mistakes lost him that last match. So I'm, I'm really glad to see him go back to here and stay, stay confident in his stage pick. Yes, absolutely. And now the up is coming out from Cloud, pulling out these double jumps and the down air. Another one, three for you, young man. Yeah, I was gonna say he was having, he would have a much easier time landing on the stage, but you know, you gotta, first of all, you gotta get out with your double jump, you know. Losing your double jump is, doesn't matter what stage you're on. Clanks with the, uh, oh, doesn't get the auto cancel. That would have been Cosmos to stop most likely right there. Into back oh, air, very goodness. nice. Yep. And then Kaleo, I think he's realizing he's definitely learned after that game number two not to make the mistakes that he made in the first dog. Such an explosive set between these two. Once one of them gets a hit, they can really take it far. Oh, yeah, but the it. climb hazard, limit climb hazard, having that invincibility on startup, able to brute force through things. Almost gets the read on the air dodge, but Cloud's amazing aerial mobility, able to get around it. Triple up air, no, into the net instead, getting him off stage. Yeah, Cosmos desperately trying to fight back here, but it cannot find an answer to MK Leo's aggression. Now, once again, off stage. Halfway to limit. He's not even going to bother charging because he's in such a comfortable position. There it is, grab once again, off stage. Three times in a row now. He's going to make it back eventually, hopefully, but not without taking 81% from MK Leo. Yeah, finally makes his way back onto the stage due to a little overcommitment from MK Leo right there. Ooh, oh, tries to read, but unfortunately facing the wrong way with that Dragon Fang shot. Cosmos is going to really need something big in order to get this KO. It's perfect space to come out from MK Leo. He knows exactly how to get the shield in. Oh, okay. I feel like it could have been a little bit stronger of a punish, but I guess he was worried that uh, the cross slash would recover too fast. Either way, that Dragon Bite will take out that first stock core. And now at 108, we'll need to find out a way to close out this, this stock without a... Uh, you know, maybe take advantage of that rage, man, because this is potentially his last stock of winners. Yeah, Cosmos, uh, Cosmos and Corrin are both very, very strong with rage. All it takes is a good few well-placed pins, and Cosmos could be back in this. We haven't actually seen too much interpin play coming out from him, knowing that Cloud and MK Leo are so good at working around Woo! it. And as we saw there, the one interpin is what led to his demise. Never MK seen. Leo moving on to Grand Finals, winner's side of CEO. 2018. I've never seen somebody look so comfortable in the match, but even after a game number two like that, man, because I think I, I, even though he won that game, I think that's enough to tilt somebody into thinking, hey, you know, I'm not as invincible as I thought I was. But Jesus Christ, man. That's crazy, man. Shout out to MKLeo. 